finding the depth okay so for the vein number one you again stand on the same point or anywhere on the vein you stand on the same point or anywhere on the vein but not where both the veins cross not where both the veins cross so you stand again maybe at the same point where you have got the deflection of where the flowing water is there again what we had programmed we had programmed that <coughs> once we are standing on that particular vein i would like to know the depth of the top edge top surface of the water okay i need to know the depth of the top surface of the water so again i hold my rods say put in the question i am standing on this particular vein please let me know the depth of the top edge or top surface of the water on this particular vein and i start counting say maybe 10 20 30 40 50 60 say maybe at 60 it deflected so maybe i write somewhere for vein 1 vein 1 the top surface is 60 feet okay now <coughs> again i stand on the same place program myself for the lower depth of the vein i program it for the lower depth of the vein again i have my rods in search position and then start counting 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 okay so i get <coughs> the second depth which is at 90 feet okay on similar lines i go to the vein 2 i go to the vein 2 okay and then i start calculating or maybe doing the same exercise and you know over there i get the first deflection the first deflection of the depth after my count say it is there at say 100 feet and the second deflection is at say 140 feet okay so <clears throat> if i take a cross section if i take a cross section somewhere where the bore well is there if i take a cross section here then i have two veins i have two veins one is a uh, uh, sorry two veins at different different level so i have 60 feet which is a porous material 90 feet another porous material then 100 feet sorry over there another material which is at 100 feet and the last one is at 140 feet okay so in between this is water in between this is water okay in between this is water and my bore well i have uh, maybe what i do is because this is an existing bore well so i can ask the owner or maybe if you have dug it you know very well so you might have told or the owner says that okay we went from the ground level from the ground level we have gone 200 feet below okay when you have gone 200 feet below then you got say maybe soft surface between 60 and 100 uh, 90 feet then 100 and 140 feet so you have a pervious layer the first layer is of 30 feet and the second layer is of say 40 feet so you have a total pervious layer of round about 70 feet which is giving the bore well that particular water now this is you have identified the depth with your l rods you have identified that particular depth with your l rods and you have given the count you have, it is with your count now if you get a feedback from the people or uh, for the person who has actually dug the well and he says sab uh, first reaction jo mila first jo pani start hua the first time where the water started it was at 55 feet okay it was at 55 feet then the water was there and then at a it after some time a hard surface came in the water stopped 
and that was at maybe round about 80 feet okay so first was say 55 and the second was say maybe 80 feet so in the first case our difference was 5 feet the second case the difference was about 10 feet okay on similar lines you got it at 95 and the other part you got it at say the lower portion you got it at say with a 10 feet difference at 130 feet now what has happened is when you have when you are on that particular vein at that time it is a lot of time that has elapsed and the level of water goes on varying that's one but at present if you get the correct depth maybe through the bore well you can get the correct depth the top surface at least you get the correct depth and if at all during the drilling whatever the surfaces which you have got the difference is between 5 to 10 feet then you are count when you are counting at that time there variation which is there you program your variation in such a manner that the count actually matches with the 55 feet because now our our least count is 10 feet our least count is 10 feet so between say for 50 and 60 it is 55 so whatever 60 feet which you have assumed is comparatively correct so because our least count is 10 feet similarly between 90 and you got it at 80 so it is also going at the upper edge of that 80 uh, 80 is going at the upper edge of 90 so in between because our count is 10 10 feet then you can say check that this is when he is saying 55 feet at that time what you are trying to get is yes it is between the range between 50 and 60 so it's a, it's that count uh, least count is 10 feet <clears throat> so what what you can do is reprogram your l rods if you want to get the precise location at that particular point and then start counting again but at this time program your count such that it is not in 10 20 30 program your count in fives program your count in twos or you can start straight away start counting 1 2 3 4 but the speed has to be a little more so if i am say counting maybe when i am in over here and i know that at 55 feet because now they somebody has told me that my uh, top level which was there i is at 55 feet so what i do is where i got this 60 feet i go and stand in over there and again start counting but at this time my least count is 1 okay so i am counting 1 2 3 4 <coughs> okay 5 6 7 8 <coughs> so i start counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 so at 55 my rods deflected so again <coughs> you have to program your rods with the count with the known part but roughly when you are giving somebody a borewell point let it be in tens and twenties but if you want to be more precise you can count it in the uh, say uh, one two but the rhythm should be much faster it is as good or as same as the rhythm which you had so between 1 and 10 you the way counted you could 10 20 30 so between 1 and 10 it should be from 0 from your starting of your count if it is 2 10 i'll stay okay i'm can't starting counting so 10 i took some time maybe 2 or 3 seconds now the the same part i calibrate i say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 10 now the same time i have taken for saying the count in 1 feet uh one one feet or one unit part so that programming you have to do at all these places 1 2 3 4 all these places you do it because now you are knowing actually the depth 
do the same thing for point number uh, for the lower part lower edge do the same thing for the lower edge and in this way you will be finding that you would get the exact depth at which the ground water is there so calibrating yourself that we call it as calibrating yourself on the existing well because earlier you programmed yourself you were not near the well now you are near the well a known well where there is moving water there is water which is coming out of that particular vein it is actual actually is there but you program yourself for deflection you program yourself for counts now you have to calibrate so just yes, i in most of the cases okay we say it is 10 feet okay but 10 feet when we say when we say that it is absolutely 10 feet when we actually take a tape and measure how do you believe that the tape is correct because it is a standard worldwide worldwide whatever the distance is there 10 feet is same throughout the world there may be some variation the tolerance is hardly 0.1 or 0.2 which the tolerance is there or 1% or less than 1% but approximately the distance is 10 feet with the tape everywhere on similar lines you need to calibrate yourself because here you are calibrating with the help of count your sound so you have to calibrate your sound such that you get the exact distance so imagine that you are not there which you had imagined when not before going to this particular site but now you are actually there and you know how to count now once you have decided that particular count see that you calibrate yourself properly so you get four points to calibrate 1 2 3 4 calibration over here and here there should be some sort of difference if i get say 60 feet and 90 feet at this particular point i may get if i am calculating properly say in 1 2 i may get one over here 64 and 94 or 64 5 and 98 in this particular manner because from here to here the terrain may change because the ground is not uniform it is just like not like a plate it it is changing so that variation would be there from one point to the other because from here to here the distance is about 30 feet we are standing at 7 and 1/2 feet over here if i go further it is almost 15 feet and then 7 and 1/2 feet on over here so between 7 and 1/2 and 15 feet there may be variation in ground okay so that variation of 15 feet in between 15 feet there would could be there so that also you have to think over so from that point of view when you have calibrated yourself when you have had things properly on site then the most important part is depth because depth is very difficult to give and most of the time when the driller comes in at that time we say sir jitna aapne bola 60 foot ke upar milenge apan 60 foot pe kuch aaya nahi so you may get the vein your veins are there veins won't change veins should be perfect but the what skill you need to develop as a good dowser is giving the exact depths which is the most important or difficult skill to develop so you to need to practice it at least four four of these places and practice it thoroughly once you have practiced this thoroughly then the jobs become simple because finding the edges even a novice person one who is you have given the rods for the first time you, you go along you give the rods to them they will move around and they will get deflection because what they have seen is you got deflection over there so they also automatically get deflection but when you are going for the first time on that particular site and you do not know anything on over there you are the first man to go with those rods rods and once you have been in over there once you have identified the edges of the vein then your task becomes simple once the edges are identified then the task is simple for identifying the edges but goes on difficult and difficult when it goes to finding out the depths of the vein so the difficult task you have to do to all the places which you have identified so minimum of four places where you have 
uh, identify that particular bore well or dug well, you have to carry out that particular exercise. Once you have done this exercise and you are checked it with the log which you might have got it from the owner who is having this particular well or whosoever might have carried the survey and said that okay sahab oh, uh, 60 foot ke upar pani laga fir baad mein pani laga laga hi fir 20 foot ke baad wapas hard rock laga fir again niche gaya fir pani uh, laga uh, so, 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 so foot pe 140 foot tak pani laga uske baad wo jo murum jaisa tha बोरिंग मशीन एकदम फास्ट में नीचे जा रहा था वन और एक एक बीस बीस फुट का लेंथ होता है तो वन द बी ट्वेंटी फीट वेंट वेरी वेरी फास्ट बिकॉज इट इज अ पोरस मटेरियल सो दैट वेंट इन वेरी फास्ट देन द नॉइज ऑफ दैट ड्रिल ड्रिलिंग मशीन चेंज यू गॉट अ हार्ड रॉक एंड देन वेन इट इट फर्दर वेंट इट वॉज सो हार्ड दैट वॉट एवर टाइम इट रिक्वायर टू गो थ्रू दिस पोरस मटेरियल विच वॉज देयर मे बी वन मिनट और हाफ अ मिनट but in the harder material it was taking a lot of time and you are getting a, a say sound which shows that it is cutting a very very hard rock and the cutting is also the uh, the bore part is also the material which is coming out is also less so the drill depth as per the speed which was there that also you can identify and get to know the information some of the dowsers ask for when they they not, may not be there where when the drilling work is going on so now the modern practice is that you record because now most of our mobile phones have the recording facility record the sound of the dowsing uh, sorry of the drilling and once you start recording you know that the initial stages is just soil it goes down faster then murum it goes down a little bit slower but the softer one if it is with porous material again the sound changes at different levels mark them and sometimes a very good specialized driller gives a complete log as to how at what what level what way the drilling was there so if you have a good driller and or you instruct them that okay i want different logs at what depth at what time say from depth 0 to 10 feet what was the time required how was the drilling from 10 feet to 20 feet so that log you, if you take it then you also you will come to know as to where the porous material is there 